Hi, this is Eric with mobilemusthave.com and it's finally here. The new pointing antenna, specifically this one is the X-Pole 24 4x4 directional MIMO antenna. It's a beast. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. All right, so for those of you who know Pointing, uh, they're a company based out of South Africa that provide uh, us with quite a few antennas. We actually got our start with Pointing antennas and they've been exceptionally strong performers. Our friends Chad uh, and Tara from Changing Lanes uh, did a video where they featured the X-Pole two by two antenna and showed just how powerful that antenna could be with a directional configuration when they pointed that antenna at a cell tower, showing huge improvements in their cellular uh, speeds and their cellular uh, connectivity to the tower or their kind of signal strength. Speed doesn't always equate to signal strength, but having a nice strong connection to that cell tower is one of the single best things you can do to improve your speeds and give yourself the best chance uh, of connectivity. Uh, the x 24, this big boy here, uh, takes it from a 2x2 two two up to a 4x4 four four MIMO configuration. So there are four directional cellular antennas inside of this housing. The x 24 is not small. <laughs> it's about uh, 17 and a half inches in height by uh, about 14 and a half inches in width. And I'd say hmm, about four, four and a half inches in thickness, uh, as you can see there. Um, it, so it's a big antenna, but if you think about the size of an X-Pole two by two, uh, it's roughly, it's a little bit uh, smaller than if you had two X-Poles mounted on an antenna and you get it in this compact housing. So, uh, well, compact compared to having two separate antennas. Um, so the four by four configuration inside of one case makes it a lot easier to move around, manage the cables and whatnot. And the performance out of this thing is pretty awesome. What Pointing has done in this antenna is they've really optimized this antenna to perform exceptionally well in the United States and globally. They've brought in that 600 megahertz support. So we're seeing very strong performance uh, in T-Mobile's rural band, band 71, but we're also seeing very, very strong performance in the 5G bands as well. They've done a lot here in that wideband area to really improve the effectiveness of, the, of this antenna, even though it's in such a compact housing. The x poles have really always kind of amazed us in how effective they are directionally uh, at picking up signal. This antenna is uh, specified as an 11 decibel max gain antenna. Uh, quite frankly, we've seen it outperform that in some initial testing just around the warehouse where we've tried to you know, find some further off distant cellular antennas uh, that we couldn't even really necessarily see signal very well at all to pass usable data when we locked onto a particular band. And this thing is just a beast. <laughs> but again, it is a directional antenna. This is not an omnidirectional antenna. So you do have to point this at your location. Uh, pointing antennas, no pun intended from the name, can uh, cause some problems for customers that have uh, multi-modem solutions. So if you've got like a Transit Pro with two cellular uh, modems in it, uh, each one needing two cell antennas, you could technically use something like this uh, for both of your modems. However, if you're using two different cellular providers, your cell towers might be in different directions. And since this has to be pointed, that could cause some problems. So you may want to look at an omnidirectional uh, or roof mounted antenna that's also omnidirectional antenna if uh, directional is not for you. But for top performance, rural home, agriculture, fixed uh, building mount stuff. Directional is kind of where it's at because once you dial in where you need to go, uh, you don't have to point it again and it just functions perfectly. That's where this antenna really shines. That four by four configuration means that this pairs really well with 5G devices and category 20 or category 18 devices. Those devices that have four cellular antennas on the back. So that'd be like our Transit Pro 5G, our Transit Pro Category 20, um, 
say a Balance 20X that has the 5G or CAT 18 or CAT 20 modules installed in, and is an optional module, uh, modems that are in those categories are going to do really well with that 4x4 technology that's going to let you take advantage of those newer, faster cellular technologies, carrier aggregation, uh, etc. Pointing has included their uh, LMR or, or kind of, I don't know if it's LMR, but it's 195 series shielded antenna cable uh, that they source. It's been a pretty good uh, cable for us. It's not necessarily as efficient as some of the 200 plus cables or 220 cables we see in some of the other manufacturers, but it, it has uh, done pretty well for us. And they come with 15 feet of cable or five meters, dogs in the warehouse say hi. In addition to the antenna here, you've got a really cool mount here, which we're gonna talk about next. Included in the bundle. So on the back here, you've got these four screws, metric, uh, I believe those are M6 screws. Everything's included that you need to mount, but they include this awesome mount here that just gives you a ton of flexibility. You've got a full articulating 45 degree tilt in this primary joint that would mount right onto the antenna right there um, or in that configuration, depending on what you need. And then on this side, you've got the same articulating uh, option here. So from a pole mount application here, you'd be able to not only tilt this antenna side to side in this direction, but also uh, in this other axis as well to make sure you're optimally pointed exactly where you need to be. Really, really strong ABS plastic here in, in this mount. Um, it, just, it just feels like really strong, good quality um, with a tremendous amount of flexibility here for pole mount applications. Uh, we have tested this unit, that's backwards. We have tested this unit with our carbon telescoping or our fiberglass, I should say. Carbon's the color telescoping antenna masts. And um, it is able to uh, withhold that as long as you're not in too strong a wind condition. So you can go ahead and mount that um, to our pole or the WeBoost uh, telescoping 25 foot aluminum pole uh, will work as well. In addition, you've got um, some mollies here for a wall mount application. This can mount directly to a building if you don't want to do a pole mount installation. Um, so the, the mollies for that are included, or you've got your kind of standard U clamps here to get that mounted around a pole. Big thank you to the folks at Pointing for getting us a couple demo units so that we could really test these out. And we're quite happy with the performance of this antenna, specifically around it really kind of closing up some of the uh, concerns we had around performance uh, in certain bands that uh, were lacking in some of the previous Pointing antennas. So if you're looking for a directional antenna in a nice compact housing that's uh, IP68 rated, I believe, um, so super waterproof, just the connectors, everything on this antenna are super well built at a very nice price point. I recommend you check out that pointing uh, X-Pole 24. If you're thinking about purchasing this product or any product on mobilemusthave.com, we highly recommend that you check out our membership programs. Membership programs give you discounts on everything on our store. Uh, they give you access to the dogs in the warehouse. No, just kidding. Uh, they give you access to discounts on mobile data plans. And probably most importantly, they give you access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com, which includes forum access for asking more advanced troubleshooting technical support questions. That forum is staffed by myself and other team members. So if you want to take a look at the memberships, typically they will pay for a mobile internet purchase or the mobile internet purchase will pay for the cost of the membership on your first purchase. It's really something worth taking a look at. Uh, lots of savings there, upgraded shipping, all sorts of stuff, too much to kind of list. But if you go to membership.mobilemusthave.com, there's different membership level options um, with different benefits. Just check that out before you make a big purchase. Uh, that could save you some money and some headaches and some time. For a detailed list of specifications on this product, go ahead and hop over to the listing page and click on the documentation tab, which will give you a link to the manufacturer specifications with all of the details on the performance specification data. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about this product or any product on our website, please make sure to reach out via chat in the bottom right hand corner to speak to a representative. You can also email us at info at mobilemusthave.com. 
and we will see you on the road. Thanks so much for watching.